We're parents, and as parents, we love and want what's best for our kids. Raising a kid in today's society isn't easy. There's all kinds of new dangers that we have to watch out for that our parents didn't. One of the biggest concerns to this generation of kids is the rapidly rising costs of college. According to Forbes, a $10,000 college education in the year 1986 would cost $59,800 in 2015. That's over 2.5 times the inflation rate. The good news is that's not stopping kids from attending college, as more students than ever before are pursuing higher education. The bad news is they're being forced to pay for their tuition with borrowed money, and today's college graduate is striking off into the real world bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and already buried in an average of $35,000 of student loan debt. $35,000 sounds like a lot, but not entirely unmanageable, right? After all, they have their whole career in front of them and plenty of time to pay it back. A recent study by LIMRA found that a college graduate saddled with $35,000 of student loan debt would end up with upwards of $350,000 less in savings when they reach retirement. That extra time spent paying interest on their debt rather than earning it in savings adds up in a big way over the long haul. So we know that saving for college is important, but what's the best way to go about it? Certain financial vehicles have been created specifically for the purpose of saving for college costs, like the popular 529 plan, CSAs, UTMAs, IRAs, education savings, bonds. The choices can be overwhelming. It's critical to understand your choices and the advantages and disadvantages for each option. Click here or click the link in the description for an in-depth comparison of some of the different tools available to you. A little planning now can ensure that your future college grad will have an invaluable leg up on his peers and a clean financial slate heading into her new career.